Now you guys know when it comes to bringing you the scariest videos you could possibly ever hope to see on YouTube, this is what we do. And tonight, out of all nights, we know that you guys have high hopes in us for something good, something special, and we intend to deliver. Come play with me. Sorry about that, I'm not sure where that came from. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Tonight is a two-part episode. We have two different locations in this, and we know that you're going to love it. Join us. Make sure that you stay tuned until the very end for a special ending and a message to our fans. We hope that you enjoy the show. We received word of an old property that was built in the early 1800s and passed down from generation to generation. Many people who have stayed in this location claim to have heard weird noises at night, witnessed strange events, and believe the place to be haunted. Now whether or not this place is actually haunted, that's to be determined, and Colton and I were eager to find out. Although we did not have much details on the backstory of the property, we decided to stay the night. And things got very strange, very fast. Oh look at these little... What, 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 what? This is the room. If there's any activity happening, I feel like it would be in here. It looks haunted. All right, let's see. Maybe this is the one. Huh. Looks like it was barely latched. What's that? Look at this fucking wallpaper. Oh it's yeah. It's separating from the wall. We didn't know much about this particular property except for it was built in the 1800s and it's been passed down through multiple generations. But exploring a place this old is obviously super exciting. Oh look at this wallpaper. It's tight bro. The place was really old and I personally love seeing that the old wallpaper, the old decor, even the old like style of just the way the house was built. There was bricks on the inside. Half of the house was like brick inside it. Really, really cool to look at. And you know what? Yep. Got an EMF. Let's see what we got. We've heard reports that there's a lot of activity going on here. If that's true, can you light up this device in my hand? When you walk through this place, it's like you can see the testament to the old style of construction. There's old brick walls everywhere. Just a super ancient vibe coming out of this place. Oh yeah, I mean shit, look at even the brick walls, bro. Look at this. What? Like. Old school brick walls, that's awesome. Is this like an add on, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. But this house is uh, from the 1800s, which is pretty fucking sick to think about. Yeah. Oh, look at this room, man. This is the room. If there's any activity happening, I feel like it would be in here. It looks haunted. Look at this. These mirrors. Trippy. Every room that we went in has some sort of either at least one crazy looking mirror. Yeah. And a ton of crystal. Oh yeah. A lot of crystal going on. I want to see what's upstairs. Hello, hello. Oh shit. It's a weird spot for a window. I love your hallway. Yeah. 
Oh man. Bro, look at this wallpaper. Strange choice. You've definitely come a long way. That's like a species. All the mirrors? I'm sorry, but if this place isn't haunted, I'm just mesmerized by all the fucking wallpapers. Look at that wallpaper in there. Oh, hey, we got a light on up here. There's a light on. Maybe someone left a light on before they left. Hello. Couches, boots. Did you get any blips on mm -mm. anything? No. Can you please light up this device in my hand? We're not here to harm you. We're just here to communicate. Oh, look at these little... What, 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 what? Did you get, did you, no, did you just get that? I thought you were opening it. No, I did No, I had my phone and this in my hand the whole time. I hear Colton take this deep breath and say, dude, and when I look back, I see the final movement of a glass cabinet just slowly swinging open. Well, here, let me close it and see if that's wild. So let me, let me rewalk my steps. Maybe the floor, maybe the floor unhinged it. When we were doing the initial walkthrough, I remember Casey walking past a glass cabinet and almost instantly as he walked past it, it started to open. Did you capture that? Yeah. I literally thought, like, I was looking through this thing and I thought you were still standing there because I can't see the edge of the night shot. Whoa. And I thought you were opening it. When that happened, we immediately thought maybe there's like a soft spot in the floor that we stepped on, like we put a little too much pressure on it, so we went around and tried to debunk it. And as much as we tried, we couldn't get it to repeat what it just did. Well, that's a good sign. That um, doesn't open on its own. That's trippy, man. Nothing on this yet, though. That's f crazy. There's no way, right? I mean, I wasn't even stepping that hard. Was it? Like, Is I mean, that activity? I don't know, but I can. We haven't, we haven't cut anything yet. Like, we haven't turned off cameras or anything, so I could show anyone watching this right now. There's literally nothing attached to this, and when it's closed. <laughs> It's not f***ing opening again, so... Yeah. Oh, look at these little... What, 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 what? I didn't get any... Blips on our EMF detector, there was no spikes of anything during our walkthrough. But a cabinet opened upstairs. If that was you, can you light up either side of this prism in front of us just to let us know that you're here? 
After doing a full sweep with the EMF detector and getting nothing, we decided to try and use some other devices. So we set up the yes, no prism in one of the rooms downstairs. We've been to pretty much every room in the house and we haven't gotten anything on the device. Do you plan on communicating with us? Are you able to communicate with us? We use it as a questioning device where green means yes and red means no, but if you could just come near it and let us know that you're willing to communicate by setting off either side of it, that would be incredible. That'd be awesome. We asked a bunch of different questions over the course of 30 minutes, and oddly, we didn't get one single response. Not one green, not one red blip. So at this point, we were becoming a bit disheartened. We would love it if you could prove us wrong. The owners said they get a ton of activity, typically at night. Can you please do something to show us that you're here right now? Maybe you're not the kind to interact with devices and in front of cameras, but can you make a noise or can you move something? Are you able to audibly speak? We literally tried every device that we had in our bags, from the spirit box to setting up REM pods. We even used the Ouija board and we decided we weren't getting any kind of response or activity on our devices and there wasn't much happening at this place. We've been in this position many times before and trust me, when nothing is happening, there is definitely a cutoff time for us. If it's going four or five hours, six hours into it, um, we're pretty much done at that point. So we set up our static cameras on the rooms and just go to sleep. Sometimes we go on like 10 day runs where we get an hour of sleep each night. So when we finally do encounter some activity, it's super exciting. But at the same time, if we don't encounter anything, it's almost like we sort of appreciate that too because tonight we might actually get to sleep. But this house turned out to be nothing that we expected. Case? In my head, I was like, maybe Casey just slammed a door or maybe like he went to close something and he, he it slipped out of his hands or whatever it was. But waking up to a loud sound like that, your heart is pounding, your adrenaline's pumping. You're like in fight or flight mode within a millisecond of opening your eyes. Yo, did you just slam a fucking door? As soon as we saw each other, before any words were spoken, the look on his face, I knew he just heard exactly the same thing. You heard that? That was you. That was not me, bro. What did you hear? Dude, I heard a crack slam. It sounded like a door slammed, right? Yeah, something. That sounded like it was up here, though. Yeah. Yeah, that scared the f out of me. Shh, shh. What the f is that? Shh. Hold on, bro. What is that? The more that we began listening to it, it sounded like a water faucet was just turning on and then off, on, off, just repeatedly, over and over. That's fucking water running from where? It sounds like this bathroom in here. What the f***? What the Is 
just oh, shh, shh. And as soon as we turned the corner and looked in the bathroom, it just stopped completely, but then the silence was interrupted by what sounded like these bells or chimes from within the house. Is the, oh, shh. Hey. Someone ringing a doorbell. That was definitely the fucking clock. What was the fucking slam? Oh, Look, there's a light, bro. How is it doing that? As we headed towards the sound, I see a light flash in the corner of my eye. And at first I thought maybe it's lightning from outside or something, but then I, I look and one of the upstairs rooms is just going nuts. The light is just like going from dim to bright to brighter, dim to bright to brighter. It just kept turning off and on, on its own. I have no fucking idea. Dude, that light switch doesn't even work. What the f Bro. What is happening right now? Oh, dude. The f the What is happening right now? My head's all over the place at this point. I literally just opened my eyes. There's noises being made all over the house. The light is flickering on and off. It's like when we went to sleep, the house woke up. Dude, what is actually happening right now? I have no fucking clue. And as we looked around the room that the light was flashing in, we hear the bell again coming from downstairs, so we slowly went down to check and see what was making that noise. There was this old grandfather clock that we saw during the initial sweep. And as we approached it, we realized that the glass door was wide open. And neither one of us could recall that door being open when we first walked through the house. Hold on, hold on. It's not. Was a noise. Yeah, the clock isn't working. It's stuck on 10. We have to look at the footage. That was the noise. That was the noise, dude. Yep, you're right. Bro, that's so fucking fuck. crazy, bro. Dude, do I have anything? Oh, hold on. What's up? Oh, shit. Just yeah, we're on that, dude. There's no doubt in my mind that it was that clock that made the noises when we were upstairs, but how? I really don't know. However, we did see this as a sign, like, okay, something's here now and it wants to play. So we took out our devices and we tried to get more responses. I'm gonna crash. Should I put it on there? Uh, I don't know. I'd say just keep it on you right now. I'm gonna grab- Wedge. Drummer. Wedge carpet. I just shook the fuck out of that clock too. Was it shaking? Is that what made that noise? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna grab an EMF detector. I know this thing freaks out, but come on. Yeah. The first three wench? Yeah. A wench like is a, like an old woman or something, like right? A, like a low-born female, I guess, yeah. As we were walking around with the ovulus, there was another loud slam that came from upstairs and it sounded very similar to the one that woke us up initially. Huh. Continue. Continue. This is hey, fucking shit. real. A door slammed again, bro. That's the exact noise I think That's I woke the up same to. fucking thing, bro. Yo, that's what I heard too when I woke up, bro. What the fuck is that? Hello? 
So we rushed upstairs to check what it could have been or what maybe made the noise. <gasps> what the? F That's it. We did see it swing open and slam shut a few times, and that just appeared to be from the wind. That wasn't anything that was paranormal, but it was still kind of startling when it happened. <gasps> what the? F That's it. So we kind of chalked it up to, you know what, this place is super old. The slam that woke us up was most likely the screen door. Maybe the wind was doing something outside that was triggering the lights or the electrical breaker, I don't know, to where the light upstairs was flickering. And even though the clock appeared to be stuck on 10, maybe it was broken, maybe the hands don't move, but the clock still rang. So in our minds, we were like, you know what, there's not like anything too crazy going on here. We were both exhausted. We were like on the end of a 10 day string of places that we visited and it was a windy night. So we said, screw it and we decided to go back to bed. One of the scariest moments of this investigation was something that neither one of us noticed while we were filming. And I know Casey pretty well. And had we known that we caught this on camera, neither one of us would have been sleeping in this house. I know you want more! In the early 1800s, a farmer named John Bell was in his corn stalks one night and stumbled across a creature he had never encountered before. He would later tell his friends and family it appeared to be a very large dog with the head and ears of a rabbit. Seeing as he had never encountered such a thing, he aimed his rifle and fired several times at the creature. However, it managed to escape regardless of being shot. This is where all of the madness began. Shortly after his encounter in the cornfields, John and his family began experiencing strange visits during the night, pounding on the outside walls of their cabin, whispers and voices coming from the fields, blankets being torn off the family members in the night, and suddenly strange illnesses began to fall upon the family. Rumor had it that there was a nasty old witch who lived in a cave near the Bell family. People say she had the ability to take on the form of many beasts and that John probably encountered the witch that night in his cornfields. The curse that soon followed was revenge for the farmer shooting at the witch. Soon the family died, but the supposed curse lived on. Many people say that the spirit of the witch still lingers around the Bell property at night and inside of the caves. Tonight, we are going to find out for ourselves. How are we looking? We're good. Good? Yeah. Hey guys, so tonight we're actually gonna be exploring the Bell Witch Cave. We are here completely by ourselves. This is the first time that we know of that a paranormal team has been granted access. Um, I'm actually pretty nervous because if we kill these lights right now, I just wanna show you guys like what we're dealing with. It's pretty dark out here. Yeah. So thanks Cole. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna actually flip a coin and see who's gonna go to the back of the cave first by themselves. Okay, you lose. Ha. 
we were both super excited to gain access to this place. We've heard so many myths and so many stories and actually we really weren't expecting to get the opportunity to explore this cave on our own. And when they gave us the confirmation, we were both super pumped about it. Nah. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? Here. Call it. Oh, fuck. Tails? Tails? All right. All right, you won. I guess I'm going. Yes, sir. Here you go. All right, best of luck. I had a feeling that I was going to be the one walking anyways. I just, I knew it. I was like, I'm going to be the person that has to go back here. I'm going to go night vision. So you're not going to bring a flashlight? I'm going to bring one just in case, but uh -huh. I think it's going to look cool if I at least see what it looks like in the dark, you know? All right. Show the viewers what it's looking like. All right, you got grapefruits for, uh, okay, sure. Two grapefruits. <laughs> All right. I don't know about that, but... Honestly, I don't think that I was too nervous about this place because they do give group tours here. It wasn't like it was somewhere in the middle of nowhere where there might be wildlife inside it or anything. So I had every intention of walking this entire cave with only night vision on the camera. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to switch to night mode quick. However, once I got inside the cave, I realized the ground was way too treacherous. There was big rocks. There was like certain cracks you could step in. There was water puddles everywhere. So if I did walk through the cave with only the night vision on the camera, I would have had to been aiming the camera down the whole time so that I could see where I was walking. And I wanted to let you guys see what was ahead of me down the cave. Water or something running here. Got some water dripping. It's already getting chilly down here. Oh man, this is pretty incredible looking. It's so fucking quiet. Let me see what it looks like. See my breath, it got so cold. The further back in the cave that I got, I began to notice the temperature dropping pretty drastically. And I remember thinking at the time, I did ask the owners, does it get colder in the cave than outside? And they said, no, not really. So I thought that was a little bit strange. It's fucking ice cold in here. Now we were told by the people who run this place that it never really gets below 60 in here. It feels like it's 40 right now. It is freezing. Oh wow. This is uh, an Indian burial grave. People leave I guess like items and see how far back this cave really goes though. I'm curious. I'm pretty 
sure I just heard something. Hello? Hello? Fuck. I thought I just heard a, wh a whisper from down here. Shit, that's a crawfish. Anybody like eating crawfish? Look. I was actually really entertained when I found a little baby crawfish in one of the puddles, um, which you'll probably see in the footage, but I don't see those where I'm from. So I'm in the depths of this pitch black dark cave and there was just like a little crawfish buddy hanging out with me. I thought that was, that was kind of cool. I know, I'm kind of a nerd. When I was on my own, there was a few points that I thought I heard whispers, but when you're that far back in such a tight cave, everything kind of echoes a bit, so it was hard to tell. Shit. Oh, this is getting tighter. It's getting pretty uncomfortable already. can see clearly I'm trying to get this thing to focus but uh this looks like it's having a hard time with the lights there we go let's go back to night mode it's doing pretty good on that It's getting colder and colder the further back that I go. Oh, fuck, it's getting tight. I'm getting claustrophobic, not gonna lie. Some of the walkways got really tight, and personally, I don't like small spaces. Sounds like a little waterfall back here or something. Holy shit. I don't know if I can get to that waterfall. I'm gonna try.
Oh wow. Hopefully I'm almost to the back. Maybe this is the back. Oh yeah. That's straight water there. Can't go any further than that. I finally reached the back of the cave and I could hear like a small waterfall of some sort. But there was this uh, large body of water separating me from the back of the cave. So I said, screw it. And I headed back out to the front to go get Colton and we were gonna start testing. All right, well, I guess I got no choice but to go back and get Colton. Oh, time to run some tests. Wait till you get in here, there's like a waterfall all the way in the back. I heard a whisper, uh -huh. I swear. I was sitting there like filming a crawfish yeah. and I heard something sound like a whisper. Well, that's the story, man. Yeah. She torments you exactly. and talks to you. When he came back outside from his initial walkthrough by himself, he told me that it looks awesome in there. He's super excited, he wants to grab the EMF and then I grabbed the obelisk and we started running some tests, seeing if we can get some words come out. This place is insane. If the Bell Witch is present with us right now. What is she? Potential numb wife. All right, is she trying to say that she's potentially my wife? The Bell Witch? Caress. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> All right, move forward. Thanks. So I hope it's just getting rained on right now. Did it say tomb? Tomb counter. It said tomb? Yes. Bro, come here. Look at this. Anything wicked. Anything wicked. Look at this, bro. There's a fucking tomb right here, bro. No, there's not. I swear to God. You're there's kidding a me. Very little tomb right here. This is the one that they told us about. But what? You look to the left, and there is an actual burial site with like a cutout little tomb area that people are putting offerings into. Yeah, we walked into this like corridor, and it said tomb. It says cover. It wants this thing covered? I mean, would you want your tomb uncovered? Are you, are you upset that like people come here and visit your tomb? Dude, what is that? I don't know. There's like a, that is not something that someone left here. Huge. That looks like a rattlesnake skin, bro. Or something. Jewelry. There's a Polaroid in there. Yeah, you know what? We gotta pop some Polaroids tonight. Watch your step, um, check this out. There's another corridor. Uh -huh. And this is where I heard like whispers from them, bro. There's a waterfall. Did you hear that? Yeah. Is that was a whisper? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. There's water running back there, but I heard like a voice. Whatever it was came from that direction. Yeah. Dead yeah, sound. Go ahead. Take a look at What? What the fuck is that? What happened? What happened? Something just moved. Like an animal? It was as tall as the cave. All of a sudden, Colton started flipping out while we were talking, and he was saying that he saw some kind of shadow movement or something moving down the cave. Is it your shadow? No, 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 no. No, it was not my shadow. Because if I'm behind you, your shadow might. No, your shadow's not in You get it? I think so. Okay, let me see what you saw. Dude. Okay, hold on. When I'm looking at the viewfinder, I played it back a couple times while we were in the cave, and I personally couldn't see anything on the viewfinder, but then again, the viewfinder is only like this big. Um, when I looked at it on the computer screen, that was a different story. to see it on this little viewfinder right here. I don't know what that was. 
it was like it's hard to tell. Head was as <clears throat> high as the. As That's the what I'm saying. Like, but see, like, look back there now. It's like hard. There's so many different colored rocks. It's like hard to tell if like maybe your light shined off a rock or something. I I'm not gonna know. Look, see, I could see. Look, yeah, I could see like something. Maybe it was just a reflection, dude. I don't know. I. I, I'm almost, dude, I'm, I'm like positive it was not, dude, is this, Shh. Oh, you just fucking heard yes, that? Yes, I heard that, yes. Fuck, dude. Be careful. It was right here, dude. Is there any holes or anything in the wall? Like that it could have gone in if it was like an animal? No. What are you talking about? There's a cave in the cave back there. You saw something run by? I saw something. A shadow without light, yes. Oh, did you get it on camera? I don't know. I got it on my eyeballs. How fucking sick is that, dude? Dude, whatever I saw, Yeah. I do not think... That's not the only way in there. I get to this pool of knee-deep ice-cold water. And I look around the corner and I can see the tiniest little crack between two rocks. And I said to myself, you know what? This is what separates the boys from the men. I'm going further. And I'm looking down at something and I hear a splash. And... <laughs> I look up and Colton's just trudging right through it. And my first thought was like, Fuck, I don't want to be out here doing the rest of this investigation all night in wet, freezing cold sneakers. But then I, then I thought about you guys at home watching and we do what we have to do all the time. No reason to stop now, right? So Fuck it. in we go. Are you going in that shit? Bro, you're fucking crazy, dog. Hold on. Now I'm gonna have to go because I can't. I can't be a pussy, bro. I'm coming. Fucking here we go with the shits. Oh. oh. So I literally traversed up this trickling waterfall to get to the top where it opens up to this massive extra chamber in the cave. Careful. Careful, careful. That's where it ends. That's where it ends? <sighs> Look at that crack. I mean, I'm not going in there, but do you think that could be an entrance that like some something could have came in? Yeah. What's under here? Hey, you know what I was thinking?
That's gotta be another entrance. Hey, you know what I was thinking? That's gotta be another entrance. Hey, you know what I was thinking? You know how uh, when we talked to the owners and they gave us permission to come here? Yeah. They said absolutely no Ouija board summoning shit like that. Yeah. I'm just thinking because the obvious said portal and there's like a tomb there. Maybe, you know, respectfully, respecting yeah. the owner's wishes, maybe we just light some candles in a circle and like run some tests there. All I know is that. Careful. If you notice, this is definitely not where they intend us to be. I just know for a fact that I saw something in here and it had to go somewhere. Yeah, I don't know what that was, bro. Ooh, that's a sink hole. Careful. Hey, can you do me solid? Yeah. I got I got both of my hands full. So just for me to grab something when I come down. Yeah. Yeah. Drop it. Alright, you got it? Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Give me some light, bro. That'll leave me in the dark. <laughs> bro. Yeah, show me that shit back. We got a bunch of candles lit now and we're gonna do a spirit box down here and see if we can make some kind of communication with the Bell Witch. Um, if we get any kind of words come through, that would be amazing. But we're gonna give it a go. You ready, bro? Yeah, I feel weird having that thing, that whole part of the cage in my back right now. I know, I do too. I'm not even gonna lie. The owners of the cave have a strict policy against no Ouija boards inside the cave, but we decided to do a spirit box test and surround ourselves with candles. We thought maybe we could provoke something or, I don't know, get something to come through the spirit box. We wanted to try out whatever means we had. Let's do it. Ask it again, same question. When I was learning all this earlier, you said staff, you said tomb, you said child. Is any residual energy from the child remains? Maybe like the spirit with us? Can you come close to us and tell us again? Okay, okay, obviously I didn't get my limbs twisted into spaghetti. You guys can relax, I'm fine. Thank you for worrying about me. Uh, we're just having a little bit of fun with you because it is Halloween. However, I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you guys who have been following us for the Halloween Marathon. The Oktoberthon was awesome. I'm gonna be naming the winners for some gift cards in the uh, community post section within the next day or two. Make sure you look out for that. If you're one of the winners, your name will be in there and I'm gonna need you to email me and I'm gonna get in touch with you and give you some gift cards. But beyond that, we did make a alternate ending to this video, which I'm gonna play for you right now, just to remind you guys of who we are and how we do it over here, because we like to have fun. We like the positive vibes and it's a healthy community and we're gonna keep it that way. So thank you guys for joining us. Check out alternate ending number dos.
channel, the best channel, the best, the best channel, the best channel, the best, the best channel, the best channel, the best. Happy Halloween, guys. We hope you had an amazing month of October, and thank you for joining us for all the new episodes. But fear not, we have many more surprises coming way sooner than you think. See you soon. Hello. What's your name? Come and play with me in the underworld. I know you want more. Join us.